So now in this video, we're going to look at this laser module. And so the main reason why I'm doing this video, I came across this laser module today. It's in a kit that I bought for the Arduino a bonus kit, 37, I think it's 37 sensors, but uh, this is a laser. And somebody told me they had a laser, but they weren't sure how to uh, use it or whatnot. And uh, so this is the first laser I've used. So in any case, pretty sure this is the KY008 and people talk about it on the internet and uh, whatnot and so I'm pretty sure I have this down based on the electrical properties too and its appearance but uh, in any case I didn't know for sure what it was but I did notice the uh, S and the uh, negative uh, symbol right there and so this is pretty straightforward I'm gonna take a red jumper to the positive rail and then a brown jumper to the negative rail and the other end of the jumpers they have a female end there for plugging pins into it so we got negative there and then positive we'll leave the uh, middle pin just floating right there and so it came from a kit for Arduino so I felt really safe that I could use 5 volts on this but there's a uh, one volt right now being applied. You can see my uh, power supply right there. It has uh, down at the bottom right there. That's where the jumpers plug in that uh, go over here. And uh, we got alligator clips and I clipped them to uh, breadboard jumpers and they go into the board, red and blue. And then I have these jumpers I made that connect red to red and blue to blue right there positive and positive, negative and negative. So we got one volt there. And so the person, somebody asked me about uh, their laser. I didn't know how to help them really, but uh, how I would test something that is new to me, I did find some instructions on how to use this, the disc that came with the kit. It wasn't terribly helpful. It gave some code for the Arduino and that's it. It didn't mention about wiring it up at all. But in any case, as we saw, S, maybe that stands for signal, I don't know. And then brown, we have a negative symbol. So it's pretty clear where you got to uh, wire this. So in any case, at one volt, and then a maximum of 10 milliamps, we've got about zero milliamps. And so we will hit set here and raise the voltage to two volts, no current flowing, and then now three volts. And you can see now we are pretty much spot on to that 10 milliamps right there. So. So uh, it's pretty clear that we should use a higher voltage, but we were already at the max current, so now that is at a constant current. And so what that means is it's holding the voltage down to 3 volts, even though I want 4 volts because I have the current limited. So it's given whatever voltage is needed to hold that current. So this is how I would test it. So now we're starting to see that uh, laser right there. And it was faintly lit at uh, the 10 milliamps of current. Very, very faint. I don't know if you can see it or not. But in any case, there there we got it. So so it's uh, pretty bright and it goes across the room pretty good. The, the dot stays about the same size. And uh, so it came with an Arduino kit so I would feel safe going to 5 volts even if I hadn't found information on it. And so we'll go to a 30. And now you can see at uh, 30 milliamps we are at 5 volts and that's actually what it is rated for apparently so let's uh, go to uh, current there you can see it's about 30 and uh, at 5 volts we can uh, raise our maximum current and you can see it's holding pretty steady right there so we're not telling it to output that amount of current we're telling it to output that much voltage as long as it can provide that much current and uh, it doesn't need to it's limiting current right there so pretty straightforward now we uh, are gonna grab the multimeter and so there was some talk online and I still haven't found anybody with a clear answer but this uh, middle pin here that we are not using and don't look at the laser directly of course so the middle pin we're not using, and I haven't heard a definitive 
reason to use it but everybody seems to know for the most part that if you measure the voltage there you have the uh, 5 volts that we put at the rail we should there we go I got a better connection there we got the 5 volts that we have at the rail so maybe that's to add to a uh, some circuitry or something that will respond when the laser is on I don't know but uh, any case that's just something to be aware of and uh, some other people said there's a pull up resistor or something there I don't know that's uh, something you can look up uh, later hopefully I'll find out more information about it later but in uh, any case pretty straightforward you just power it like an LED but you can give it 5 volts directly there is a surface mount resistor that uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my camera there there it is surface mount uh, resistor right there and then another one right there and uh, and I think that's it there's uh, no part number or anything on there but I'm pretty sure it's the KY008 so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I will see you in the next video